curly hair specialist on TikTok University said it is time to switch up the routine by removing heavy butters and oils from our products because all those are doing in our boatload of products is masking the issues that our hair really has going on. So in this video, I'm going to be putting you guys on to what a no heavy butter, no oil routine looks like and is. Then I'll be sharing my actual game plan for the upcoming months as we shift over to the correct products for this type of routine and see what this new routine can do for us. But here's just a bit. Apparently, our current natural hair products are definitely way better than what they were years ago, but they are so filled with harsh ingredients and heavy oils and butters that don't actually help our hair. They mask slash hide the actual issue. Hey, baby loves, welcome back to the Fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshana Dupuis, and if you're not, huh, you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell down below. If you're interested in seeing hair or skin, product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every week. So with the whole idea of masking, the intention behind this change in routine is to actually address the issues that our hair is having. Um, hydration, dry scalp, lack of hair growth, all of it. It's supposed to just take it down to the root of the cause, get your hair to a really clean and healthy state, and then just keep nourishing the curls until you start to see real improvement in your curl just from water, because that's real hydration, right? We're not supposed to be needing a shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, a hot oil treatment, uh, five creams, two leave-ins, like we shouldn't be needing all of that. I can't lie, I, I, you know, I do love my products. These reviews are always genuine. And this isn't even one of my best wash and goes, but I am really enjoying what the product's doing for me. So it's gonna be really hard for me to go all the way with this routine, cause it's a really simple, like these are what you use, these are the companies that we approve of. Let me be clear about what my goals are. One, more hydrated hair and scalp. I do have eczema and I am prone to dandruff, so it's not fun in my scalp sometimes. I take as good of care as I can, but if we can just get it to be in a healthy state on its own without having to go an extra mile to clean it up sometimes, that would be beautiful. Two, naturally coiled hair when it gets wet. My hair is low porosity, so it struggles already, but when it does get wet, it takes a little while to curl up. And we don't want that. We want it to clump on its own. And three, we want to be using cleaner hair products that actually heal our hair long term and not just mask the issue in the immediate time. Really quick, if you made it this far, one, thank you. Because that means you're trying to join the journey with me. And I want you to join me. I want to have a friend. And two, this channel is about growing our hair, having glowing skin, and all at an affordable price. If that is something you can relate to and want to hear more about, go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below what you're nervous about if you're gonna be joining this journey. And three, keep watching, keep learning, and thank you for vibing with your girl. This information and recommendation is mainly coming from two stylists on TikTok. One, her name is Ace, the curl healer, and two, Dusty, curl vision on TikTok. These are two people that I've been mainly getting the information from because they actually show their work constantly. Like, this is what I've been able to do. This this client a year ago to what she looks like now. This is what her hair does. They show it and they have the knowledge and are constantly sharing with the TikTok community for those of us who can't go to California and see them in person or don't have the money, whatever. They're sharing their information. Super thankful to both of them for sharing it. And my friend Casey, shout outs to my girl Casey. She actually has been trying the routine and said it's working for her thus far. So we're gonna give it a go. If I don't notice that big of a difference, I have no problem coming right back to all my beautiful products. You're gonna see my ups and downs throughout all of this because I'm sure it's gonna be a little hard. So the actual routine, what will we be doing? What does that look like? What does this entail? Main thing to know is that science class, oil and water don't mix. And water is the only thing that can give our bodies actual hydration. And it's the same for our curls. So we should be getting the majority of our hydration from water and continuously adding water in our routine more than adding more product, more product, more product, a whole bunch of different products to get a single result. We're supposed to be able to just wash style with one or two products and call it a day, okay? 
So that's the intention here. And I want to clarify too, other than the haircut, which I badly need, I feel like my hair is in a strong, healthy state. But when it comes to hydration, I can moisturize my hair easily with any of these. Hydration, mm, it don't got that on its own. It'd be dried up, worse that I colored it, dried up real bad. And I already mentioned the two stylists that I've been following to get more information from. Both have been amazing. I love, love, love that I'm hearing more about curl specialists and learning from them. So here's what I have learned from Ace specifically, just diving into her videos. Oil coats the hair and can lead to buildup, which prevents the growth, it ends up messing with your scalp, you get dandruff, there's a bunch of stuff that goes into it that's just not fun. Some of us don't clarify enough with the amount of products we do. I would say for myself, I do not clarify enough. Worse, when I got the color, I was really, I've been really afraid to clarify, but now I'm just like, I wanna make sure that my hair is getting the hydration it needs. And it's okay if the color has to fade out a little bit, it is what it is. We don't wanna be using no silicones, no sulfates, pastelites. We already know that, but we're serious right now. None of those. The reality is that the FDA allows certain chemicals and ingredients into our products that we should be avoiding. The Curl Healer, Miss Ace, shared that over 70% of hair products marketed to the black woman community contain dangerous ingredients compared to the 40% aimed at the general public. Which is crazy, because if you don't know, let me tell you, the beauty supply hair product industry is us. We gonna spend that money when it comes to hair, the styles, anything that we feel like we can use or is marketed towards us is us. So to know that our products have more dangerous ingredients disgusting that's why we need to be moving to cleaner hair ingredients cleaner products they may cost more but if it's a high quality ingredient and a brand that we actually want to support and feels like is catering to the well-being of our black women community that's what we going with it'll be more cost efficient to not buy 15 dollars per product versus just spending 30 40 per product and having a really safe and great base routine. We need to be using water soluble products because water is what provides true hydration and we don't need anything coating our hair to the point that it's hard to get out and regular shampooing doesn't do so. You need your hair to be really clean in order to get the best results every time you're styling. If you ever notice when you go to a hair salon, they do their thing, they cleanse your hair, they're using high professional grade products, which is high quality products. Your hair is so clean that by the time you finish styling, it always looks amazing, feels so soft and weightless. It's because it's really cleansing your hair. So it's important for us to make sure that we are doing the same, that we're really cleansing, we're not using such harsh products or heavy products in our hair that allows for it to be weightless and curl up and just be beautiful all around. And then from doing this routine and making the shift, right, we should be able to see some results within six months usually. A said that we should be able to see that we don't need as much product and our curl pattern should be coming through a, not, a lot more naturally on its own. She even says that the way she's able to identify what's going on with her client's hair is because she requires them to shampoo condition and that's it come in with your hair dried air dried and let me see what it looks like in its natural state so we're gonna try that when we're starting our routine uh, we're gonna be able we're just gonna be taking like before and after pictures we'll do one month two months three months four months all the way to six month uh reviews we have to have a game plan we gotta know what we're doing we'll be detoxing your hair because we want our hair to be in its healthiest cleanest state and in order to do so, yes, I can clarify a few times until I get there, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go with detoxing it because that is what Ace does for her first time clients. She just detoxes and jumpstart the process so that you know for sure everything's out of there and it's super clean. I will be clarifying once a month unless I am in a pool with chlorine after the vacation kind of thing. I'll probably use a clarifying shampoo after any of those moments, which I already do now, but for sure that's gonna be my plan because we don't need the chlorine chewing my hair up, especially this color. Shampoo and condition every week. I already do that, but if you don't, please plan to do so. One thing for me is I'm gonna make sure I'm being more intentional with my wash process, more water, finger detangling over yanking the, it's a good, it's a detangling brush for curls, but still. And with conditioner, I don't do this, but a tip for you if you do, do not leave conditioner in your hair. We want it to be fully out because that's what prevents 
water from getting into your hair if it's still coated with the conditioner no get it all out keep squishing the water into your hair let it get fully hydrated and then you move forward with your styling products but leave-in conditioner especially a conditioner is not a leave-in conditioner actually will prevent the water from getting into the first and second layer of your hair which is what leads to frizz so now we ain't doing it no raw butters or heavy oils directly in the hair which is hurtful for me because I love me a hot oil treatment. I love a good homemade uh, Cardi B hair mask with some argan oils and castor oil. I love a good heavy oil. But apparently, no, we're not doing that anymore. And that's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Mr. Curl Vision said that if it has oils, you want to make sure it's a cold press, high quality oil. I'm still learning to figure out how we can tell that. Two, A says that if it does have oil, we just need to make sure that it is not in the first four of the ingredients. We want water to be the first ingredient and we do not want oil to be a part of the first four. This is not that mm, eh. cleaner products are more balanced and higher quality. That's just the reality of it. That's why they're more money. So we're gonna be using brands like InnerSense. It's gonna be a big one in this whole journey. You wanna be using more water than product. And as I said before, we're finger raking into our hair. We don't wanna be snagging and pulling. We actually don't want to be using any demon brushes or other styling tools. I know, I know. I actually don't use them often, but when I do, they work. So it's a little, I'm scared. But yeah, just raking, shingling, finger coiling, just fingers is gonna be our tools for the next few months. We gotta let these go. The nice little cheap Walmart beauty supply store scrunchies. No ma'am, these snag out our hair. Um, mine, thank God, doesn't do that anymore. I don't use my hair. I don't actually don't put my hair up too often anymore, but no more of that wrapping around and pulling go to amazon and get yourself some silk satin scrunchies because it's soft and smooths and just holds the hair these are so soft your hair just wraps around it i have not had my hair get stuck in this and i can actually pull my hair into a pretty tight bun when you want a tight ponytail you're gonna want this and i can't lie to you i'm probably gonna pull this out just pay attention to when you're using it because we are not allowed to use it when our hair is wet yeah Time to get these, go on Amazon and order some. Also, Bright Beauty Supply, those are my, I love that brand forever. They have amazing silk scrunchies and they're huge. So they allow you to have the big puff. It allows you to wrap it a few times. I really recommend the Bright Beauty Supply scrunchies. They're awesome. This one's gonna be hard for me. We have to be consistent with a routine because like I already said, and if you couldn't tell from my channel, I love, trying new products so i tend to like mix it up grab this grab a shampoo from this brand a, a styler from that brand a gel from that brand no more we gotta be intentionally consistent with the routine less is gonna give us more in this space for sure if you live in a state with hot water which all around our waters have all type of stuff in it but as a new yorker i'm just used to a certain type of quality water and since i moved to texas i noticed it ain't that it is definitely hard mm -hmm. i got a little extra minerals a little extra in the water so if you can afford it or save up for it we need to get shower filters i've been wanting one for some reason i've been putting it off this entire time but now i have no choice i need to get a shower filter i want you want to make sure that our hair is not dealing with the hard water and the effects of hard water we want our hair to get the most clean filtered water i'm not gonna recommend this unless you go to a stylist there are hard water cleaners so if you know you live somewhere with hard water talk to your stylist see if they're willing to do a hard water treatment here's what the hair is giving right now we do have product in it with the Real firm hold, it's supposed to be anti-humidity. It is the dew pop lock if you're curious. Um, not sure if that's gonna be approved soon. So definitely if you wanna try it, try it now before you embark this journey. I'll let you know if it's approved or not in that upcoming video. But yeah, I don't think my hair is that bad. I actually think my hair is really pretty and has been getting even better the more I've learned and had been working on my wash and goes. But yeah, as I learn more, I'll be sharing more. Our main focus needs to currently be figuring out what products we have that are water soluble or fit into the ingredient and water 
things that I have mentioned earlier. Also, we need to start building up our approved list of hair care from Dusty and Ace. Especially Ace, she's like, is just really passionate about Innersense. Hasn't really mentioned too many other products that are okay, she just says water soluble. So one of my next videos will be going through all of these, seeing what products are good or not based on what I'm learning. But I am for sure getting Innersense products for the washing especially because that's gonna be really important throughout these next few months. Washing as the first, I've always felt that washing was important. That's why I've always washed my hair once a week. I was not a part of the journey of don't wash your hair natural, leave it unwashed for a month. No ma'am, mm -mm. absolutely not. So for sure, washing has always been important, but using, I'm gonna slowly build that stash up cause they are like 30, $40 each product. Yeah, so, um, if you can't afford it, go, just go, go. Figure out which line is gonna be good for you with your hair type and run with it. If not, you could join me in the slowly but surely each paycheck one or two products, figuring it out kind of thing. We could just do more, we can do better, and that's what we want. We want our hair to grow, we want it to be healed internally. I want my hair to get wet and curl up on its own. Of course, use stylers to make it really popping and beautiful, but just from the first step already, just be in a good space. That's the goal here. I'm nervous. I love alternating through a products. So it's gonna suck looking at all of these beauties just kind of sitting there, but we're on a mission to have bigger, better hair. And I'm excited to see what the no butter and no heavy oils routine can do for me. Let me know if you have any questions in particular, anything you want me to learn about and cover or share what I know, whatever. Just comment down below right now if you have questions about anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.